What would it take to attack a computer voting machine and steal votes? We wanted to find out whether a real criminal could do this, starting from scratch, with no access to source code or other closely guarded technical information. We faced several challenges, getting a voting machine, figuring out how it works, discovering a weakness, overcoming the machine's security features, and constructing attack software. In the end, we found that it is possible to undetectably change votes and that such an attack takes a lot less time and money than one might expect. First, we needed a voting machine. Most companies sell them only to municipalities. A criminal could just steal one, but we had to acquire one legally. Luckily for us, in 2007, Buncombe County, North Carolina upgraded its voting machines and sold the old ones on a government surplus website. Princeton professor Andrew Appel bought five of them for a total price of $82. This model machine, the ABC Advantage, is sold by Sequoia Voting Systems. As with other computerized voting machines, voters interact with the machine to cast their vote, though with the ABC Advantage, they press buttons instead of using a touchscreen. Election workers program the ballot and offload vote totals using memory cartridges. The machine prints the number of votes for each candidate, but there are no paper records for individual votes. Though it was designed 20 years ago, the ABC Advantage contains many security features. ABC Advantage machines are still in use in Louisiana and New Jersey. Once we had a machine, we needed to find a way to attack it. We started by taking it apart to figure out how it works. We reverse engineered the hardware to understand the electronics, and we perfected a simulator to help us study the software. Eventually, we found a vulnerability, a chink in its security armor. Due to an error in the machine's programming, a specially crafted memory cartridge can corrupt part of the machine's internal memory. Could this be enough to take control of the machine? The challenge is that the AVC Advantage has a security feature designed to protect against attacks like this. Unlike modern PCs, the voting machine will not run programs from its writable memory. The only way to change its software is supposed to be by replacing read-only chips. For many years, this design seemed to offer strong protection, but it is defeated by a recently invented technique called return-oriented programming. This technique recombines snippets of the existing program to create new functionality, the way magazine headlines can be rearranged to compose a ransom note. We used return-oriented programming to construct a demonstration attack against the AVC Advantage. Here's how a real attack might happen. The night before the election, the attacker finds a machine left unattended. This is a common practice in many polling places. He picks the locks. This takes only a few seconds. After some quick setup, he inserts a cartridge containing his attack software and navigates the menus to trigger it. Now he controls the machine. He removes his cartridge and closes the machine, leaving no trace. The attacker and his accomplices repeat these steps on other machines in many polling places. Everything appears normal, but the vote-stealing software is silently at work. In the morning, poll workers turn on the machine. The election seems to run normally. Here, we cast three votes for George Washington. After the polls closed, the attacker's invisible software shifts votes. The winner is Benedict Arnold. What would it take for real criminals to develop an attack like this? It took us 16 person months of labor from start to finish. Most of the work was performed by computer science graduate students. Every year, universities teach the needed skills to thousands. To put the cost in perspective, John McCain and Barack Obama spent over $1 billion in the 2008 presidential election. The total cost of developing our attack, including the cost of our time, less than $100,000. We demonstrated practical attacks against a specific computer voting machine, the AVC Advantage, but the implications are broader. Computer security features may not stand the test of time. Providing a lasting safeguard requires a system that voters can verify, such as paper ballots. 
For more information, visit our website.